All aboard the pain train! Next stop, the Temple of Flame. Obviously, this place is going to be full of fucking fire. Well, not so much fire as a shitload of magma. Because we didn't have enough of that bullshit in Fethmir's level, we have the return of the one hit kill magma. Fucking everywhere. And because we didn't get enough of them before, the teleport orbs. The way you're supposed to do this, you're actually supposed to use the chain rod, as far as I can figure. But I just decided to jump for it. Who cares if I'm dipping my toe in liquid hot magma? I sure as fuck don't. And here we have an incredibly annoying section. Incredibly annoying because you had to deal with these teleport orbs with very little room to maneuver. And of course, you have the fucking magma all over the fucking floor. And you have to bat these things around really carefully. Really, really carefully. To create pathways forward. Don't let too many of them follow you around because otherwise you're going to get blocked in. And don't shoot them if they happen to be inside of a wall. That'll just cause them to detonate. If they're inside of a destructible wall, however, you can't kind of use that to your advantage. Yeah, you could go up there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to come back later and do various elf hunts and all that. So yeah. This, this is just going to be a basic completion. Top up here. Love the sub tanks. They give you a lot more room for error than you had in Zero One. And the return of the crumbling platforms. The speed sections from Fefnir's level. Obviously, this place here is equally themed after Phoenix Magnian's level and Fefnir's level. You've got the teleport orbs and the destructible walls from Phoenix Magdian. You have the magma and the crumbling platforms from Fefnir. Combined to create a huge stew of fucking bullshit. That is this level. Fuck this level so fucking hard. Okay, and it's at the end. And obviously it's the Temple of Flame, which means that the boss is going to be Fire Elemental. Which means that electricity is going to be our best bet here. Fefnir again? Really? Well, at least we know what the boss fight's going to be all about. Hey, Zero. You came along to get El Piso? I know you did. He is crazy about the Dark Elf. I said Elf. I know. I... yeah. Leave that guy to Harpia and have fun with me instead. Aya! Get ready for a fight. Wait, what? What? What's going on? What's going on? Oh shit! He's a fucking truck now. Yep. He powered up. He powered up big time. Now he's a fucking truck. He does a lot more damage. And he has three fucking health bars. Three fucking health bars. Because two wasn't enough. Two wasn't anywhere near a fuck enough. He had to have three. Fuck this game. So the trick here is to stay near the left side of the screen and try to take out the cannons. Destroying the cannons will not actually damage him. However, they do make the patterns easier and eventually you're just stuck with this pattern which is easy as hell to dodge and gives you plenty of room to shoot Fethmir in the face over and over which is the only place he's vulnerable by the way so just keep shooting him in the face with your lightning chip preferably with the buster you can run in and do the saber uh, blast thing but uh, don't really recommend it just stay back Keep shooting them, try to take out the cannons. Hopefully you'll get that really easy pattern really quick, and once all of his guns are gone, that's the only shit he can do. So, yeah. <laughs> Temple of Flame down, thank god. And next up is the Temple of Ice. Take a wild guess who's going to be the uh, boss there. Alright, 
See you next time, people. Fuck you all and good night.